Um, his escort there has to escort him around a wide open south lawn. <laughs> Literally point the direction that he has to go. The Japanese prime minister is like, I don't, I just want to get out of here. I just want to get back <laughs> on J Force One and get back to Japan. Um, but how embarrassing is that? Well, here's the thing, and, and Hogan knows since we literally, our offices were right next to each other in the White House in the West Wing. You know, you're when you're with the president as a communication staff, you're always on alert to make sure that. Um, you know, what, the exchanges between the reporters and the president, the president getting from point A to point B. If I would be part of that Biden communications uh, staff, I would be, I, I don't know, probably like vaping every two minutes because <laughs> they're, and I, I don't vape, but like all I'm saying, I'd be so stressed out that the president would vaping. fall, that the president doesn't know where he's going next. I mean, it is very problematic, I think, for this White House because yeah. The thing is, today, the presidency, it is like a reality show. I mean, they are on mm -hmm. TV. There's so much scrutiny on the president. And any wrong move uh, really creates a news, a news story. But here is the thing. The Democrats have covered up. The media institutions have covered up for President Biden for so long. The problem is, is now people are starting to pay more attention because we're in election year. And they're seeing a weak president on the international stage. And he's failing, especially in a moment mm -hmm. where we are seeing so much chaos across the globe. You're right, Mercedes. It was like watching a reality show that you just couldn't look away from yesterday. So I bet you guys thought we were done with this. We're not. Here's a look at him trying to give a speech, but he has sunglasses on. And look what's reflecting out of the sunglasses. Take a look. First of all, we keep improving our lines of communications with one another. That's the United States and China. We, I met, I've recently spoken at length with President Xi, and we've agreed that we would, number one, have personal contact with one another whenever we wanted to discuss anything. So I think we might see more of these news conferences, Hogan, outside, so that he's able to wear sunglasses so you can't see his eyes, so he's able to read from the note cards that we can clearly see are right in front of him because he has no idea what he's saying. Or who he is. <laughs> Yeah, I, I love Mercedes is right about the vaping piece, but but you know I, I don't know that this administration is too concerned about vaping. That's why there's cocaine found all over the White House. I think they need something a whole lot stronger to to be able to get through the days with this guy. Listen, again, this is problematic. The danger um, that that ensues because of a feckless leader like Joe Biden, because of a weak leader, and I'm not just talking about him physically or mentally. His policies are all bad too. But when you take a look at how he's outside now with the sunglasses, it is a way to kind of prevent his uh, everybody from seeing where his eyes are going, mm -hmm. um, like they have any life in them whatsoever. Um, but even so, you're going to see a lot of these things that Joe Biden is doing over the course of the next several months leading into this election, I think is going to be very controlled. They're going to try to do as much as they can to keep it scripted, because we all know how bad he is, even when he has the script. When he has the questions, when he knows the reporter he's calling on as a mm -hmm. friend, he still is going to have some serious challenges and some problems. And as Mercy pointed out, the American people are starting to pay attention because we are in election year. And when they begin to see this decline that has been so rapid and so obvious, they're really looking to change their votes, I think. And Hogan, when you look at that wide shot there of him standing up there before the camera zooms in, yes, it's a sunny day, but no one else is wearing sunglasses. The prime minister of Japan, not wearing sunglasses. He's the only one. Yeah, good point. And Trump, well, it's not like Trump ever wore sunglasses. I can't no. even picture Donald Trump. And I've seen him on the Trump, golf course, by the way. I can't Trump even didn't even him. wear them for the yeah. clips. Yeah. No, he he's, just, got the he big, just he's got the big, big red MAGA hats. Come on, people. That's a good point. <laughs> That's, That's a good point. Sure. Uh,